Welcome everyone, I'm Ricky from Tech Talk and today we're unboxing and taking our first look at the Samsung Galaxy Tab S4. So on the side here we've just got a bit of information, it says Samsung Galaxy Tab S4. And you've got some key highlighting features down this side, one being it that you get the S Pen for free. You don't have to actually go out and buy it separately. Next to that is a Samsung S AMOLED display inside, which means your content is going to look rich and clear and I can't wait to test out that when I'm social media or when I'm actually enjoying movies or TV shows. Next to that is 64 gigabytes of storage so you've got storage and also you can update this with a micro SD card and finally it has LTE connection straight away as well so you could insert a data sim and enjoy on the go. So turning around to the back we have more greater details and we're going to switch the camera around and actually get into the unboxing. So taking a closer look at the detail specs here on the back of our tablet, its screen size is 267.2 millimeters or 10.5 inches. It has a WQXGA with a resolution of 2560 by 1600. Remember that's an S AMOLED display. It has the ability to use Samsung DeX for tablets. You will need the keyboard separate to this. S Pen is included, which is great. It has quad speakers tuned by AKG, Dolby Atmos sound effects, which is even better offers an optical processor, processes at 2.35 gigahertz and 1.9 gigahertz, has four gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of onboard storage. You can use a micro SD card as well. It has a 7,300 minute hour battery, which has an adaptive fast charging technology built inside. You have iris scanner for extra security. Underneath here, you've got a bit more information. It's just saying that the keyboard is sold separately. Coming back round to the front, now we can actually unbox our tablet here. I'm just going to take off the lid. We're going to sit that to the side and inside you've got the Samsung Galaxy Tab S4. So we're just going to take that out. Just going to sit that to the side for the moment. Inside you're going to find a USB-C to USB-A for connection, syncing and charging your tablet here. And it uses that adaptive fast charging. So it takes around about 200 minutes via fast charging to completely charge up that 7,300 minute hour battery, which is actually really good. On the side here is our Samsung S Pen. Look forward to using this and testing this out. To go alongside the S Pen is extra tips and the tool needed Needed to replace them. You have a SIM tool there so you can eject your SIM tray. Then finally you have a quick start guide and warranty card. If you do have any questions or queries please ask. I'm more than happy to help. So our tablet is in a protective cover here. Let's just take this out. And it's made up of glass. On the back here it says Samsung. You've got tuned by AKG as well. Come around to the front, let's power on. So the power button is at the top right. It is running Android O, but there will most probably be an update to Android P as well. So make sure you look out for that. Moving into the setup phase of Samsung Tab S4. Just before we begin, I wanna show you the accessibility options that you have on this device. Samsung are very good at adding a great amount of accessibility options at the very beginning of their devices on tablets and mobile phones that I have tested previously. It's nice to see that they have this here too. Inside here, you have vision and then dexterity and input. If I just go into dexterity and input, you have a couple of options here, but when you go into vision, this is where it's really impressive with a great amount of settings here that you can change and adjust and make this tablet easier for you to use no matter your disability. So inside here I'm going to just change the font size to make it easier when I'm reading for you. So it says start, so we're going to hit start here. First option it asks you to connect to a Wi-Fi network. Locate your Wi-Fi, mine's the top one and then insert your password. Agree to terms and conditions, you can read through these here if you so wish to. So I have read and agreed to these settings. So it's going to check for any software updates then it's going to ask you to sign into your Google account. You will need a Google account to use the applications on the tablet and to use all of Google's services. If you do not have an account you can create one down here as well and just follow the process through there. It's relatively easy and shouldn't take you that long. So I'm going to sign in with my account. Again, you will have terms and conditions that you will need to agree to. So it hasn't found a backup, but that's okay. We're going to set up as new. So if you're moving from a previous device, you could set up from a backup. So it's found my date and time. So we're going to hit continue here. So moving on to protection of your device. And Samsung, as you know, offer a great range of different security options for your tablet and your mobile phone. So on this device, you have intelligent scan, which uses face and iris for extra protection. You then have face recognition, iris scanner, pin pattern or password or nothing, which I really don't recommend. I recommend choosing one of the top three there. For me, iris scanner will most probably not work due to my eyesight and my eyes being closed quite a lot. 
So I'm actually going to use face recognition. So set up face recognition. I've either got to choose a pattern, pin or password as a secondary option. It then asks me, am I wearing glasses? And the option is no. And we're going to hit continue. And I'm going to just look at the frame now. So my face recognition was on. Just gives you a square block to look at. Then you have Google services and agreements again to go through the services that you want to use. Then you have the ability to review additional applications that will be installed on your tablet. This is all okay by me because I want to get the best possible experience out of this Tab S4. So sign into your Samsung account. This is where you're going to sign into your Samsung account to get the extra benefits from Samsung itself. So if you don't have an account, if this is your first Samsung device you can also create one as well then finally it's just talking about checkouts useful features so you can extend your battery life you can secure your stuff and also it's talking about the font size and screen size here as well which is fantastic I'm gonna click finished all done now the tab s4 is all set up let's take a look around our tablet so we're gonna start off at the top So along the top you're gonna to see two speakers you've got some antenna bars got a little sticker there that says Qualcomm 4g and then you've got your microphone as well coming down the right hand side you've got your power button you've got your volume controls you've also got another microphone then down here is your nano sim and micro SD card tray inside there make sure you use the tool that's provided and the micro SD card can be up to 512 gigabytes on the bottom you're going to see a further two speakers which are all tuned by AKG and offer Dolby Atmos I'm really looking forward to testing that out you've also got antenna bars you've got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack which is nice to see and also you've got USB-C for your syncing and charging your device and also that port is a multi function port this means you can connect other devices if you so wish to on the left hand side you're going to find a keyboard connection so you can buy a keyboard separately coming around to the back you've got a single lens which is 13 megapixels it has auto flash HDR panorama and many other modes which we'll look at at a dedicated camera video and also the ability to record video in 4k and that's at 30 frames per second so coming back around to the front here I'm going to just turn on and it should recognize my face hopefully there we go, and unlock, which is great. I've set up the face recognition during the setup phase. So the display itself is a super AMOLED display from Samsung. It's 10.5 inches in size, and it can be used either portrait or landscape. Majority of the time, I think I'm gonna be actually using this in a landscape sort of way because them speakers are going to sound great just make sure you don't cover them but you can use it in a portrait way if you so wish to its screen to body ratio is 78.6 so that's really good here it does have thin narrow bezels all the way around the display the camera that's built into the top here alongside your iris scanner is an 8 megapixel camera and you can record video at 1080p so first thoughts I'm really impressed I'm looking forward to really testing this out and what I want to ask you is what would you like to see from a future video on the Tab S4, please let me know. Definitely gonna check out the accessibility because I know from Samsung the accessibility is one of the best on the market. If we swipe along to the far right, we do have Bixby here. So I can hit continue. This is gonna tailor make certain things for me in news articles that I need to see, which is really good. It's gonna learn over time. So in the bottom here, you've got three capacitive touch buttons. So you've got your menu one here, and this shows you your menu options. And it just shows you a couple of other options here that you can have multi apps open as once. Location wise, you can dismiss one or you can clear all. Pressing home again, you've got a back button as well, which is handy. So alongside the tablet, you do get a Samsung S Pen as well. You don't have to go and buy this separate, unlike other manufacturers make you do, which is great. Again, if you bring this close to the tablet or even touch on the tablet, it brings you up a list of different things that you can do. We can highlight these here. The pen does have a button on it. One thing I like about the S Pen is that you can actually draw on your screen when it's locked. So I'll bring up notes here and I can write shopping list. So we've got shopping and then I can put on there my list if you so wish to. It says shopping there. So that's a really great feature that you can save that then. As well as using data through your data sim, you can also make phone calls as well. So it has the phone connectability here and the antenna bars to make phone calls which is great and I'm looking forward to testing that out. But my first impressions is it's a great size. I'm looking forward to really delving in and using the great features here. The Super AMOLED panel and the Dolby Atmos is gonna be great for 
content watching and content viewing like Netflix, YouTube. I'm really getting involved in my content. There's loads of things great to watch at the moment. And also this is the super tasking tablet so you can multitask and really delve in and do your work with all the power and performance inside needed for it, which is great. I'm really looking forward to testing out the Tab S4. If you do have any questions or queries or wish for any videos to be made, please do let me know as quick as possible as it is only a review model. Thanks always for watching. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing and setup and first look at the Samsung Galaxy Tab S4. If you're new to Tech Talk, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated with all my latest videos. For me, Ricky, I will see you very soon. Bye for now.